Are you an enophile? Do you like a little enophilia in your life? Am I intimidating you with my large words? Just take a sip and let me explain. Today I'm taking you inside of Sip Wine and Beer in Escondido where the owner wants to make wine tasting less intimidating, more inclusive, and well, fun. Cheers. hot spring summertime is approaching us and so I'm really fond of rosés for the summer. One of my favorite rosés is La Fête du Rosé from France. Black owned winemaker, phenomenal guy, great story. This is made by the McBride sisters. This can represents women's empowerment and the good news is that you get two glasses of wine in these little cans here. There are so many brands here that people can come and enjoy, and you're not gonna find them in the stores. And my ultimate favorite is the Black Girl Magic Sparkling Brute. Having this on ice will definitely make your day brighter. My goal is to feature Black-owned and women-owned beer makers as well, and this month we are paying homage to Chula Vista Brewing and Timothy Parker and all of the phenomenal brewing that he's doing as well. So this is something we're not gonna have here, novena phobia, because you have so much wine. So Cassandra Shag, this is your your baby. Yes. Since 2016. Yes. Now what you know about wine? I love to drink it, <laughs> and, I, and I know others love to drink it as well. But fortunately, growing up in Temecula, and which is wine country, I was able to get involved in wine, and now I'm here to share it with other people. It's not just that you are really trying to elevate; you are elevating locally made wines and beers, minority owned and female owned, which, hey, yes. that resonates with you. Yes, and what many people don't know is that the wine and beer industry for women is underrepresented. And so my business model focuses on elevating the stories of those brands that we hardly see or hear about or get to sip. You have over 70 brands here and the majority of them are women or minority owned. So I'm very happy to be able to support people that are making the industry change. I know that wine could be very uh, intimidating. Yeah. Like you, it's intimidating. Yeah. But when you come here, I don't care. We don't care about whether or not you know wine. We want you to try things. And it's a space for culture and conversation, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't need to put our pinkies up here. Never. Nor do we need to become sommeliers because they need to go to school for that, right? But you do not need to go to school to come here. Perfecto. Cheers. Cheers. Yay.